here's our problem for today. All the roots of x to the fourth minus 40 x squared plus q equals zero form an arithmetic progression. What is the value of q? You can pause the video and see if you can solve this math challenge. Let's solve this problem together. First, what do you mean by arithmetic progression? An arithmetic progression is simply an arithmetic sequence or a sequence where the difference between consecutive terms is constant. So let's focus now ourselves to the given equation. Notice here that for the variable x, the exponents are 4 followed by exponent 2, exponent 3, and exponent 1 are missing. What we can do is we can fill in those missing terms by letting the coefficients be equal to 0. And so, we now inserted these color white terms. In essence, the values of these inserted terms are 0. This will just complete our form so we can compare it with the form that we are going to derive later on. From the fundamental theorem of algebra and its corollary, since the highest degree of our polynomial equation is fourth degree, we know that we are expecting four roots. And let those roots be r sub 1, r sub 2, r sub 3, and r sub 4. Now, these four roots could be positive roots, negative roots, or imaginary roots. But the total number of roots is four. And then from the factor theorem, if these are the roots of our polynomial equation, then x minus r sub 1 is a factor of the polynomial. Also, x minus r sub 2 is a factor, the same with x minus r sub 3 and x minus r sub 4. We now have here four binomials. So let's multiply these binomials at the left. To do this, we are going to multiply first these first two binomials and then multiply these next two binomials. The result we got are the following. The product of this first two binomial equals this part, and the product of the last two binomials is represented by this part of our equation. What we did was we applied the FOIL method for the first two binomials to arrive at this part, and also perform the FOIL method to arrive at the second part. We now have here two factors, a trinomial times another trinomial. Let's multiply these two trinomials together. And in order to do that, let's use this grid to organize our factors and the corresponding products. We multiply this x squared times x squared to arrive at x to the fourth, then multiply x squared by the negative of the quantity r sub 3 plus r sub 4 x to arrive at this result, and then multiply x squared by the product of r sub 3 times r sub 4 to arrive at this result. Then we proceed to the second column. Let's multiply this factor times x squared to arrive at this result. Do the same for the second column and second row factors and simplify. And then the second column times the last row to arrive at this result. Then we move to the third column multiplying r sub 1 times r sub 2 times x squared to arrive at this value. Then again, r sub 1 times r sub 2 times this factor here at the second row to arrive at this result. And lastly, multiply r sub 1 times r sub 2 times r sub 3 times r sub 4 to arrive at the product of the four roots. And then notice here that there are terms that are similar. This term has x to the third similar to this other term. Also, this is the x squared term, and this is also an x squared term, and this is also an x squared term. The variable here is x to the first, or simply x, and the variable here is also x. And so we can combine these similar terms. And then combining now similar terms, we copy first x to the fourth to have this part. Then you have here x cubed and x cubed, so we can add these two coefficients, and we arrive at this part. And then we have here the x squared, the x squared, and the x squared terms. So we add these three terms together to arrive at this part. And then we have here the linear terms. We can add these two terms together to arrive at this part. And finally, copy the product of the four roots. So this bottom part here now is the expanded form of the quantity x minus r sub 1 times the quantity x minus r sub 2 times the quantity x minus r sub 3 times the quantity x minus r sub 4. 
And since this expanded form is equivalent to our given equation, then we can do comparison of the coefficients of these two equations. That means the coefficient here of x to the fourth must be the same as whatever is the coefficient here. So 1 and 1 are the same. This coefficient here of 0 must be equal to this coefficient of x cubed. Both of them are coefficients of the same x cubed variable. Also, this negative 40 must be equal to this expression. This 0 must be equal to this next expression here. And this q must be the product of r sub 1, r sub 2, r sub 3, and r sub 4. So we now have, therefore, these following equations. The sum of the roots r sub 1, r sub 2, r sub 3, and r sub 4 must be equal to this value that is equal to 0. We disregard the sign because 0 is neither positive nor negative. Also, this entire expression here, which is the coefficient of x squared, must be equal to this negative 40, which is the coefficient of x squared also. Furthermore, this product r sub 1 times r sub 2 times r sub 3 times r sub 4 must be equal to this q. And so we now have this other equation. We now have here three equations in four variables. We still need one more clue in order to find the value of q. And the clue is in the statement that the roots of this fourth degree polynomial form arithmetic progression. So if the roots form arithmetic progression, the roots could look like this. If the first root is k, the next root could be k plus d, the third is k plus 2d, and the fourth is k plus 3d. If you subtract any consecutive terms here, the difference is d. And that is constant whatever consecutive terms you subtract. But this form is not very helpful because other than knowing that the sum of this is zero, there's nothing much that we can do. What is helpful is the fact that if the sum of the roots is zero, then the form of the roots must be symmetric. That means if negative k is one root, the other root could be expressed as positive k, so that negative k plus positive k equals zero. And what is the distance between negative k and k? The distance is k minus negative k, which is equal to 2k. And since we have arithmetic progression, the difference here also, whatever is the number here, must be 2k. And the difference between this number and whatever number is here must also be 2k. So let's find those two other roots. This number here is 2k. Then we know that the number at the right should be 3k. And also getting the difference between negative k and negative 3k, we also got positive 2k. And so negative 3k, negative k, k and 3k now form an arithmetic progression representing the four roots of our given polynomial equation. So our task now, therefore, is to find what is the value of k. Let's do that. Knowing that the product of the roots equals q, so this part here is equal to q, and representing the four roots to be negative 3k, negative k, positive k, and positive 3k, we now arrive at this product and simplifying this, we got 9k raised to the fourth. This is now our expression for q. But still, we do not know what is the value of k. From the part of the equation that is equal to this negative 40, we have this equation. This equation was the one we derived when we computed the expansion of the four binomials. Since we let r sub 1 equals negative 3k, r sub 2 equals negative k, r sub 3 equals k, and r sub 4 equals positive 3k, we can now substitute these values to r sub 1, r sub 2, r sub 3, r sub 4 in this equation. Here is now the result of the substitution. And simplifying, we arrive at this equation. Notice here that negative 3k squared minus 3k squared will result to 0, and this pair also will result to 0. So what is left is negative 10k squared equals negative 40, or k squared equals positive 4 or k equals plus or minus 2. Knowing now that k squared equals 4, we can now compute for the value of q because q is this expression that is equal to q. We can now re-express this since we already know that k squared equals 4, then we just write this as 9 instead of k to the fourth, we write that as k squared raised to the second power. 
That is because of the power of power rule. And substituting now the value of k squared to be equal to 4, we now arrive at the value of q to be 144. So our final answer, therefore, is q equals 144. Although we are not asked to find all the four roots, we can also verify that the roots of this fourth degree polynomial are negative 6, positive 2, negative 2, and positive 6. We arrive at that because we said that r sub 1 is negative 3k, and knowing that the value of k is positive 2, then we arrive at r sub 1 equals negative 6. The same reasoning is applied to arrive at the other roots. And so multiplying negative 6 times positive 2 times negative 2 times positive 6, we also arrive at 144. If we let k be equal to negative 2 because the roots here are plus or minus 2, still, we arrive here at positive 6, positive 2, negative 2, and negative 6, and you multiply those four roots, still we arrive at 144. And so, for the final answer to our math problem for today, the value of Q is 144. So thank you very much, and we hope to see you again in our next video.